Hello there, today I'm going to be showing you how to stabilize text in DaVinci Resolve. And when I say stabilize, I mean make it track a specific area in the video, or in a video. So what we have to do first with this clip is we have to cut out a certain part. So we're looking for that point right there. It's the point I found works best. So then we also have to cut out a bit at the end. So about there. So then we're going to delete those two, ripple delete, and then ripple delete. So next what we're going to do is we're going to add text, and the way you do that is you click the effects library, then you'll, you go down to titles, then you add a text. We have to zoom out a bit. So then we're going to make the size we want it to be, length, so then you'll see it just says title. So what we want to do is don't move that at all, and then just say whatever. I hope that spell it right. <laughs> and then don't move it and then click new compound clip. Then click create. Now you'll see that it's gone. So next you go back up into the inspector like you were for the text. Then you change composite mode to add. Then that makes it invisible in the background. So we got that much. Next, what you do is head on over to color. So now, make sure you're on the clip, on your video clip. Then, head on over to the track window, and then click stabilizer. Then up here, click classic stabilizer, and then change this to point tracker. Also ensure that this is at negative 199. And then, you'll have your best luck. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a point, and we're going to click Shift F, and that makes it full screen. Then we're going to choose a point, so that's a fairly good point there. So then Shift F, and then click Play. And then it might lose, okay, so if it didn't lose, but if it were to lose again, you'd just want to add another point at, in a different spot that you can track that's fairly similar in position to the other one. So we got lucky this time. So then next, what you're going to do is you're going to click copy track data. Then head on over to here and ensure that you click point tracker. I'm ensure that all these things stay the same and click paste. Then you're going to click stabilize and you'll see it made it bigger and then we'll move it to the work position we want now and we'll just set it down there or it really can be wherever like you see. Um, but it will look best the closer you get it to that spot where you put it at. It's like, you know, you center it like about there. Um, it's going to move the best. Now, there's nothing you can do about that drift. That's something that's always going to be there. But the more stable your clip is and the clearer your footage is, the better it's going to work. In this case, you'll see that we didn't get very clear footage, but, you know, at the beginning it tracked pretty well. Um, I've had it work nearly perfectly. Um, but, you know, there's nothing I can do about it at this point. But it works. So, thank you for watching this video. I will see you next time. Goodbye.